Question 21. When the solute concentration of the cell and its surrounding medium are the same, the solution is said to be A, hypertonic, B, hypotonic, C, isotonic, and D, acidic. The key word here is same. If the solution in the surrounding and the cell are equal. Now we have some key words here, hyper, iso, and hypo. Hyper means the solution is greater than that of the cell. Iso means equal concentration between the solution and the cell. Why hypo means the cell is having higher concentration than the solution. So iso means same or equal. So and the question is asking about same. The correct answer here is isotonic. Question 22. The primary consumer in the food chain below is green plants gives rise to a grasshopper, then lizard, then snake, and hawk. Option A, grasshopper. Option B, green plants. Option C, hawk. And option D, lizard. Now here is a diagram of a food chain showing different trophic level. The first organism, usually in the food chain, is the producer. Then we have the primary consumer, secondary consumer, and tertiary consumer. And the question is asking about primary consumer. Since primary consumer is at the second position, here, the primary consumer will be grasshopper. So the correct answer here is A. Question 23. Angiosperm belongs to the class A, bryophyte, B, pteridophyta, C, spermatophyte, and D, talophytic. Uh, gymnosperm and angiosperm belongs to the class spermatophyta. So the correct answer here is spermatophyte. Question 24. In the kidney, both useful substances and waste are removed from the blood by A, filtration, B, selective absorption, C, dialysis machine, and D, excretion. Now, excretion is the removal of metabolic waste products from the body, but the question is asking about removal from the blood. In the kidney, the nephron is where filtration and selective absorption take place. Now, in the glomerulus, blood taking material, both useful and waste material, comes to the kidney tubule, and the filtration process occurs in the glomerulus, whereby both useful and waste products are removed, and they move into the kidney tubule. So the correct answer here is filtration. The blood is filtered so that both useful and waste products are removed, and they are eventually reabsorbed in other parts of the kidney tubule. Question 25, which of the following is not part of the mammalian male reproductive organ? A, epididymis, B, vas deferens, C, testis, and D, vulva. Now here is the diagram of mammalian reproductive system. We have epididymis here, here is epididymis, so it's part, vas deferens, here is vas deferens, and we have the testis, and this is the testis. What does not belong to male reproductive organ is vulva. And vulva is found in the female reproductive system. Question 26. Which of the following reagents is used for testing the presence of protein in food? Benedict solution is used to test for reducing sugar. Fenning solution is also used to test for reducing sugar. And Millions reagent is used to test for protein. Sudan 3 is used to test for fat. Now, this is Millions reagent. Tyrosine is an amino acid that is found in protein. So this Millions reagent is used to test for protein. So the correct answer here is Millions reagent. Question 27. The breaking out of food in the alimentary canal is called A, digestion, B, ejection, C, excretion, D, ingestion. Ingestion is the intake of food. And digestion is a breakdown of the large molecules into smaller molecules, while ejection is the removal of undigested food from the body. And excretion is removal of metabolic waste products from the body. So the breakdown of food in the alimentary canal is digestion. Question 28. The following are the functions of the kidney except A, regulation of water content in the blood, B, maintenance of blood pH and homeostasis, C, excretion of carbon dioxide, and D, removal of waste products from the blood. 
Option A, B, and D are all functions of the kidney except C, which is a function of the lungs. The lungs helps to remove carbon dioxide from the body. And these are other functions of the kidney. Question 29. The following disrupts the balance in an ecosystem except A, afforestation, B, deforestation, C, migration, and D, pollution. Afforestation is the process of planting trees. Why deforestation is the act of cutting down of trees without replanting them. Migration is when an organism moves from one region to another. And pollution is the introduction of unwanted substance into our environment. Now, for example, in this food chain, if the plants were to be removed, there will not be source of food for grasshoppers. Most of the grasshoppers will end up dying or starving, which will eventually affect the bird, the snake, and the last organism there, therefore disrupting the balance in ecosystem. So D B cannot be the correct answer. Migration, if any one of them also migrate from this particular region, it's going to affect the ecosystem balance. And also pollution, if an unwanted substance that is harmful to any of these organisms is introduced into this environment, then the organism can die, which will eventually affect other organisms in the food chain. It also affects the ecosystem balance. While afforestation is the correct answer, it is Question 30. The following animals are viviparous, except A, cow, B, dog, C, goat, and D, pigeon. The key word here is viviparous. Viviparous animals are animals that give birth to live young ones. While the opposite of this is oviparous, that's animals that lay egg. Cow can give rise to life young ones, so they are viviparous. Dog can give rise to life young ones, so they are viviparous. Goat can also give rise to live young ones, so they are viviparous. The correct answer here is pigeon, they lay egg. They are oviparous. Question 31. The following animals are invertebrate, except A, flatworms, B, roundworm, C, codate, and D, protozoan. Flatworms are, unis they are multicellular organisms, but they are invertebrates. They do not have backbone. Roundworms also do not have backbone. Codates are animals with backbone. They have no tocot. While protozoan are unicellular eukaryotic organisms, and they are very simple. They do not have backbone. The correct answer here is codates. They are animals with backbone, and they are vertebrates, not invertebrates. Question 32. The following are kidney diseases except A, diuresis, B, hepatitis, C, nephritis, and D, edema. Now, there are so many diseases that affect the kidney. One of them is diuresis, whereby a person produces excess urine compared to normal. Nephritis is the kidney infection or the infection of the nephron, and edema is when there is accumulation of body fluid in the body. Hepatitis is a disease that affects the liver and not the kidney. And from the root word, hepa, it means liver. So the correct answer here is B, hepatitis. Question 33. The gland that releases hormone into the blood are part of the a, digestive system, B, endocrine system, C, circulatory system, D, respiratory system. Digestive system is a system that involves the breakdown of food molecule into smaller absorbable molecule. Endocrine system is a system involved in the production of hormones, and circulatory system is a system involved in the transport of nutrients and other materials in the body, while respiratory system involves gas exchange. Now, these are some examples of endocrine system, and they are the system that are involved with release of hormones. Question 34. One of the following is called emergency hormone in man. A, adrenaline, B, prolactin, C, testosterone, and D, tyroxine. Prolactin is the hormone that is produced by pregnant women in order for them to produce milk. And testosterone is the hormone responsible for development of secondary sexual characteristics in male. Tyroxine is the hormone responsible for regulation of metabolism in the human body. Adrenaline is also referred to as emergency hormone. It is the hormone that is released when one is excited or stressed. So the correct answer here is adrenaline.
Question 35. Which of these responses is not voluntarily controlled by the brain? A, dancing, B, eating, C, sneezing, and D, writing. Now, voluntary actions are actions that one do willingly. You can decide to do them or you can decide not to do them. While involuntary actions are actions that you do without you willing to do them. So uh, the, correct, the correct answer here is sneezing. Sneezing is an involuntary action. And here we have a diagram showing examples of voluntary actions and involuntary actions. So the correct answer here is sneezing. Question 36. The scientific study of life is a, botany, B, biology, C, zoology, and D, ecology. Botany is that branch of biology that studies plants. Biology is the branch of science that studies life, and that's our correct answer for this question. Zoology, from the word zoo, is the branch of biology that studies animal, and ecology is the branch of biology that studies the interaction of living organisms with other organisms and their environment. Question 37. The artery supplying the liver with blood is called A, hepatic artery, B, mesenteric acid, C, renal, and D, subclavian artery. Now, from this diagram, the artery supplying the liver is hepatic artery. And the root word hepa is referring to liver. So the correct answer here is A, hepatic. Question 38. One of the following exists as colony. A, euglena, B, paramecium, C, spirogyra, and D, bulbox. Euglena and paramecium are free living organisms and do not exist as colony. Spirogyra, on the other hand, exists as filament, while volvox exists as colony. You can see colony of volvox. The correct answer here is volvox. Question 39. The translucency spot in food tests show the presence of A, fat, B, starch, C, water, and D, protein. The correct answer here is fat. The translucency spot shows the presence of fat. And this is how the translucency test is done. You can see this is translucent. It allows light to pass through, but does not allow any other material to pass through it. The correct answer here is A, fat. Question 40. The following are examples of oviparous animals except A, crocodile, B, dove, C, rat, and D, tilapia. Now, oviparous animals are those animals that lay egg. They do not give rise to their offspring alive, and they do not also provide nourishment for this organism when they are in the womb. The correct answer here is rats. Rats is a viviparous animal, while crocodile, dove, and tilapia lily egg. They are referred to as oviparous animal. Mm.